Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome back to another Division video. Now, today got pretty exciting. Ubisoft uploaded a brand new Division video. It's only a short one and it's actually more of a kind of story video where basically they spoke to community members who were recently invited over to Massive to go hands-on with a playable build of the Division before the Alpha went live. And it's basically a video talking about their feedback and kind of what they thought of the game, impressions, etc. However, snuck in among all of that was some brand new gameplay. Again, it was only short, but I've got the trailer here, I've cut out all of the gameplay, so what we're going to do is step through it bit by bit and analyse anything brand new. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. First up, after the initial cutscene, we come to some gameplay and this appears to be stuff from the open world, not from the Dark Zone. And as you guys know, up until now, pretty much all of the public gameplay we've had has been inside the Dark Zone. So this is pretty cool. If we take a look at the top left hand corner of the screen, you can see they currently have an objective. They've got a combat rescue, which is 0.4 kilometers away. And then below that, you have something else marked supply storage where they have to clear the area of enemies and protect the friendlies. So this could either be a secondary objective. It could also be something else that's nearby, given that it's 94 meters away, or it could be something selected by someone else in the team. Either way, this is currently tracking their progress. And if we take a look at the minimap, you'll see there are a fair few icons there. You've got a couple of player icons and a few other things that I'm not entirely sure what they are just yet. They're not too clear. But either way, this is very clearly a glimpse at some sort of open world, non dark zone gameplay. So this is co-op stuff going on as opposed to PvP. And for those of you guys wondering, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, it also says captured on Xbox One. So this is indeed Xbox One gameplay and the game is still looking really, really good. And then if you look in the bottom left hand corner, it also says ability points available. So of course, this means that people have leveled up, they've earned some points, and this is therefore ready for them to spend it in their skill trees. Moving on to the next scene, you get a slightly clearer look at this again at the bottom left hand corner. You can see it's got like a kind of warning or like an exclamation saying two skills currently not assigned. And if you guys remember that super short gameplay clip they uploaded on the blog the other day, you can assign skills to LB and RB. So that basically means this agent hasn't currently equipped their skills. They've also got four talents currently not assigned, which is the menu that we saw the tab for, but didn't actually get a chance to see the actual menu itself. And then this bit here is pretty damn exciting. We've seen this map before. We've seen the whole kind of like idea that you bring the map up gives this sort of like 3D perspective and you can kind of see what's going on, but we've never actually seen it in the open world. We've typically seen it in the dark zone where there haven't been too many things dotted on the map, but this time we have a lot of things to talk about. So first of all, that yellow icon that we saw on the minimap earlier on that I wasn't entirely sure what it is, we can see right here that it's actually an underground entrance and there are quite a few of them dotted around the city. So I imagine this therefore means that we can kind of actually go down into the underground and of course like link between all of these and maybe go down one and come up another, which would be a really good way to maybe avoid some combat or, you know, potentially sneak into a base or something like that. On top of that, these kind of like glowing yellow triangles are medical encounters. And if you cast your mind back to the skill tree, you'll remember that these skill trees are broken down into medical, technical and security. So as you can kind of see here, the yellow triangle here is medical. I would imagine that blue shield like icon is security and that yellow lightning kind of flash icon to the right is of course tech, which therefore alludes to the fact that we'll be doing missions for the different kind of like blocks of your skill tree. And that probably links nicely to how you actually unlock or upgrade your skills. On top of that down here, we've got some sort of like green markers saying sort of task. I'm not entirely sure what you've got to do there. I imagine they're just sort of like general missions or sort of general things going on in the world. And you've also got a few other icons dotted around the map for various different things. There's also a safe house over here and a few other things on top. So this is really cool. This is a really good glimpse at kind of like what we might be doing, you know, when you're not in the dark zone, when you're not necessarily playing with your friends, or maybe you are still playing with your friends, but you're doing the kind of co-op activities. This is definitely like open world exploration and some of those kind of missions that we'll be doing on a regular basis. Next up after that, again switching to like another gameplay section, this appears to be underground given the train in front. Again in the top left hand corner they have an objective, they've got a hostile checkpoint, and then nearby is the Grand Central checkpoint 111 meters away, and they've got to assault the LMB checkpoint. Now the icon could just be like a, you know, purpley kind of like mission icon, or it could actually be like the blue shield, so maybe that is a security encounter. But either way, again, another kind of glimpse at some single player or kind of like PvE open world environments. Then moving over to this one, this is a scene we've actually seen before. This was actually tacked on the end of the kind of skill tree gift they gave us a little while ago. So this is actually something you've seen before. Again, a slightly different objective at the top, but still pretty cool. Moving over here, we've actually got a new location, something we haven't seen before. I think this is probably that kind of like mall or sort of like shopping center from one of the concept arts. This sort of like a Christmassy looking place that's basically on fire. So I imagine the cleaners have been here. But if we look in the bottom left hand corner, there's actually quite a lot going on. Again, there's one skill that's not assigned. There are also some ability points that haven't been spent, but there are also three additional things. There's talk to both Roy and Paul at the base, and there is also three unwatched intel. Now the three unwatched intel, I imagine that must be like some sort of collectible that you probably pick up and then have to watch in your menu. So this would therefore allude to the fact that this player hasn't looked at those. And talking to the different characters at the base is something really interesting. I did a video ages back on bases, you know, way back from the sort of like 2013, 2014 gameplay video. 
and spoke about how they would probably factor into the bases. But again, obviously seeing this on screen clearly points to the fact that, you know, we'll return to the bases, speak to different people, probably get new missions, and that'll probably expand our map, open things up and give us more stuff to do. Or perhaps if it's one of those kind of like specific encounters, like a security or a medical one, maybe it would also lead to skill and talent unlocks, because that is of course one of the things they spoke about in one of the recent intelligence annexes. They mentioned that completing missions will directly link to unlocking skills. Again, jumping over to the next scene, this looks like some kind of warehouse, which is a really cool setting. Maybe this is sort of like a specific story mission. Again, they've got the objective up in the top left hand corner. Three people in the team. This time they are level 13 each, as you can kind of see. There's clearly been progression throughout the gameplay. We've seen people of level 19. At the beginning, we saw people of level 12, and this time we are seeing level 13. And if we zoom in up ahead, you can see that player called Alex who is using the right shield. That is the new ability we saw the other day, but now we can actually see it in action. He's clearly standing there at the front, sort of taking some of the heat so that his teammates can kind of like swoop in and do some damage from behind. Then jumping over to the next scene, again, this is something that we have seen before, but just as a quick reminder, this appears to be sort of like the pre-menu to the sort of abilities one. You can see here they're about to jump into abilities, but in the top left-hand corner, we have collectibles. We then have group management, which I therefore assume would be for, you know, forming parties. You have vanity, which should be for sort of like the customization gear, because if you remember that video a while back, they spoke about, you know, multi-tiered gear, which you can kind of throw on top of your character to change the way you look. And that is then supposed to be separate to the gear you have in your inventory. Of course, you then have abilities, inventory, news, club store and settings so some options we won't necessarily see here and if you look at the very top of the screen we also have the kind of medical tech and security icons which also link nicely to the map icons so again you can clearly track your progress for everything in this screen as for the ability screen well i've already gone over this before in a previous video so if you do want to see that i'll link that down below but generally speaking this is of course where you go to equip your skills you can see at the bottom of the screen you can equip skills on lb rb and there's a kind of lb rb combined option which we don't actually know what that does just yet but for the time being, this is of course where you can go to unlock your skills and you can see the percentages at the top. Having now seen the map, that must therefore tie to, say, the number of missions you completed and probably the more you complete, the further down the list you go. After that, we see a bit more weapon modding, stuff we've seen before, but the interesting thing here is of course that mods do have rarities and these ones here are yellow and if you remember that video I did a while back, I spoke about the different rarities of weapon. It starts with grey, then goes green, blue, purple and orange. So of course the orange ones here, these are pretty good mods. You've got things like Omega Rifle Suppressor where you get 24% critical hit damage and 8% reduced threat. Or the one down below has like optimal range, the one above has stability. So these are some pretty good mods and the actual gun itself is a blue rarity enhanced ACRE. So that is also a pretty good weapon. It requires level 12 to use, it's also got some pretty decent DPS and you can clearly see the stats there. And then after that, we really just get another look at some more gameplay. This is a really cool sort of weather setting. It's clearly a tight road. They've got like an encounter up ahead, but the weather itself just looks absolutely insane. It's dark, it's late, it's snowing. And these are the sort of conditions you're going to be seeing on a regular basis. Now, for the most part, everything else you see is stuff we've pretty much seen before. However, there is one more scene that I do want to jump to. This is now in the dark zone. They kind of transition between the video from the open world stuff clearly to the dark zone. And this screen here has a lot of information. Up in the top left hand corner, again, we have our radar so you can kind of see what's going on. We've got some different icons, some teammates, some kind of like question marks. So I imagine they must be, you know, things you can go and investigate or things you can do. But in the top right hand corner, you have two different bars. Again, if you guys have been staying up to date with my videos, you should know this already. But if you don't, there are two different leveling systems in the division. You have a level for your character and you also have a level for the Dark Zone. They mentioned in one of the intelligence annexes that Dark Zone rank or Dark Zone level can go both up and down. Whereas your standard XP player level is just something that increases over time as you do missions, as you earn XP and all that good stuff. So in the top right hand corner, there's a purple bar and an orange bar. And of course the orange bar is the one that we saw in the open world, whereas now they're in the dark zone, the purple bar has now presented itself. So we now know that, that is the dark zone rank. The interesting thing here is that if you look at the player called Alex, the previous time we saw him, he was level 13, but now he is level 22, but that is a purple color 22. So I would imagine therefore that that is the dark zone rank. So that really goes to show that when you jump in the dark zone, your dark zone level is say more important, but when you exit, it's of course of no interest or no importance to you. So there's therefore no need to see it. And after that, that's pretty much it. Again, there's a little bit more gameplay just sort of showing off some different environments, but generally speaking, there's nothing really worth talking about. Everything else is just really nice to look at. So even though it was a really short video, there is once again loads of stuff snuck in there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you do want to see the actual video itself, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. It's really cool sort of to hear from some of the community members that got a chance to go hands on, hear what they thought and hear what they had to say about the game. So definitely check that video out. And also keep it locked to the channel because later on this evening, I'll have a second video going up speaking about the new community intelligence website. It's basically a community focused website they just launched today which gives us a place to kind of talk about the division and share cool content anyway that's enough for me thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it take it easy catch you next time peace out